Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New York City. Today we are giving you guys an everything you need to know guide again. We got a bunch of little neighborhoods we're covering today. We're doing downtown Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights, and the Prospect Park area here in Brooklyn. We're covering the major sites of Brooklyn when you're visiting Brooklyn, and I'm here. The beautiful view of Brooklyn Heights. I'm just like, first time here is absolutely incredible. But I want to remind you guys that you should subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because we're covering all of New York City, everything that you possibly need to know about the city. So before we do any of that, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Police sirens. And our first sight here in Brooklyn Heights is the Brooklyn Heights Promenade. It is kind of similar to the promenade on the other side of Brooklyn near Dumbo, which is really close to here. Um, but it's up, it's kind of up high. So it's up on a higher level because this is Brooklyn Heights. And so you got these beautiful old buildings in the surrounding, but an awesome view of uh, downtown Manhattan, like the financial district area. And you can kind of see Midtown a little farther away from here. So this is a really nice spot if you want to start your adventure in Brooklyn Heights by checking this out. But a lot of Brooklyn Heights that we're going to cover today is going to be architecture wise. One of the prettier architectural areas here in Brooklyn Heights is called Pierre Pont Place or Pierre Pont Street. Um, it's kind of two intersecting streets where you kind of walk down and get an idea of what the Brooklyn Heights area is really famous for. Um, these types of old buildings that are super historical and the architecture is just really, really cool on them. So make sure you're coming to the crosswords of Pierre Pont Place and Street because for one, the view from Brooklyn Heights where you get all the uh, Manhattan City skyline is just back there. So you might as well already come here because you're close, but also get a view of these amazing buildings, really cool architecture. And it's just a nice chill way to begin your adventure here. Moving on to downtown Brooklyn. So it's very funny to me that this is the only one of these in Brooklyn because this is a very residential area and it doesn't feel like a downtown area at all. But Brooklyn's only cat cafe is here in the Brooklyn Heights. So if you guys want to go to a cat cafe, chill out with the cats while you're drinking a coffee, you get the Brooklyn Cat Cafe here in Brooklyn Heights. I've never been to a cat cafe so I can't vouch for it, but I've been to a raccoon cafe in South Korea and it was a very fun experience. I'm just not really a cat person but it is a cool site that you can come visit here in Brooklyn Heights. So just to mention, there's not gonna be a crazy amount of stuff for you guys to do here in Brooklyn Heights. It is more of a laid back residential area and it's kind of a place for you to either come escape or kind of feel the difference between downtown Brooklyn which is more of a hustling, bustling area of Brooklyn. So definitely come check it out if you just wanna kind of take a break. But we're gonna head on down to downtown Brooklyn which is literally just a straight walk away from here and uh, head into the craziness of the city. All right, so down here, some more amazing architecture. You have St. Anne and the Holy Trinity Episcopal Church here in uh, kind of downtown Brooklyn area. We've now crossed over from where Brooklyn Heights was into downtown Brooklyn, um, kind of right on the border, and we can start exploring more of the uh, downtownness of this borough in New York City. So here, once again, right on the border of Brooklyn Heights and downtown Brooklyn is the Brooklyn Historical Society, and they have two locations. They currently have another one in Dumbo, which is right on the water, where you can more explore like more of old Brooklyn. It's basically a place that archives history about Brooklyn. It's kind of like a museum. Um, so you can go learn more about this amazing borough, the second most significant borough in New York City um, besides Manhattan. But it is a really, really cool looking building and there's probably tons of stuff to see and do in there. We obviously don't have time because we're on a rush and we're covering all of downtown Brooklyn today. So check it out if you're here, the Brooklyn Historical Society. All right, so we're officially in the part of Brooklyn where you're going to start questioning yourself as to whether you're in Manhattan because tons of big buildings and architecture and stuff and it's not what people think of when they think of Brooklyn typically. So we are here in the area called Cadman Plaza here in Brooklyn. Um, this is right over, crossed over into the downtown Brooklyn area, really right on the edge of Brooklyn Heights. And uh, there's just tons of stuff here, like historical sites. I'm gonna take you guys to a few, but really this place deserves a lot of self-exploration. You can give this a bunch of time. This once again is kind of like the epicenter of Brooklyn. It's downtown, which not a lot of tourists I think give time because it's uh, not really a touristy location. It's more of a student slash business location, but there still are some legacy items here from Brooklyn's history that are worth visiting and we're gonna hit up just a few of them. So Cadman Plaza stretches out a little further away but it also opens up into a big grassy lawn that ends up in the Brooklyn War Memorial which is where we're heading to right now um, which is a beautiful architectural piece in memoriam for Brooklyn. Uh, so let's go check it out. So the Brooklyn War Memorial right behind me. The War Memorial reads this memorial is dedicated to the heroic men and women of the borough of Brooklyn who fought for liberty in the Second World War and especially to those who suffered and died, may their sacrifice inspire future generations and lead to universal peace. It is just an epic wall. It looks like it's made out of maybe like a concrete marble material and it has two giant Hellenistic depictions of like 
guardians. One looks like a mother with a child and the other looks like a man. Um, and it's just very cool to come show a little bit of respect to the borough of Brooklyn and uh, uh, we can move on to kind of our next site. Right next to Cadman Plaza, there's a place called Walt Whitman Park. Uh, it's dedicated to Walt Whitman, which was a, he was a prominent New York historical figure and I think he hailed from Brooklyn originally or uh, he had some sort of close ties with Brooklyn. But the park is dedicated to him and it's got a cool kind of circle here in the middle. So architecturally, it's pretty cool. It's nothing super special, but once again, it's one of those parks with a really great view. And if you walk on either edge, you can kind of see Dumbo. So it's a cool place to come check out if you want to kind of take your time here in downtown Brooklyn. And uh, we can continue on. All right, so this right behind me actually looks like a normal subway entrance, but it's actually the entrance to the New York City Transit Museum. So it's a museum all about the MTA, I think, and the different ways to get around New York City, the public transport through the history of it. So you can actually go underground and visit it. It's obviously closed today because once again, everything's always closed when I'm visiting this stuff, but it looks awesome, super cool, and it's right here in the heart of downtown Brooklyn. So it's just another cool site that you should probably check out. We are going to head off to another location now in downtown Brooklyn. All right, so behind me right now is a building called the Brooklyn Tabernacle, and this is home to a really famous Grammy award-winning choir and church. Uh, they, I think that they do shows here, but I think they have a normal congregation that meets and worships. So if you want to come pray, I think it's open to the public, but also I think they do shows that you can go and pay and find. So just look up the Brooklyn Tabernacle before you're coming and visit it and check it out. So this is Fulton Street here in downtown Brooklyn. This is kind of the main drag of downtown Brooklyn. If you're coming to see the hustle and bustle, it's the busiest place you can come. Once again, for tourists, there's not much of a recommendation to come here per se because it's just a lot of shopping. It's home to the Fulton Mall and a bunch of shops and uh, restaurants and stuff, but it's more if you kind of want to come see the hustle and bustle of downtown Brooklyn, this would be the place to come Fulton Street. You'll be able to see all the people going about their daily lives. You want to just come people watch. Um, uh, the, the closest thing that's comparable to this would be kind of like 125th Street in Harlem where it's kind of a hustle bustle but it's really just one street and then the rest kind of filters out. So come check out 125th Street if you want to see the hustle and bustle of downtown Brooklyn. I really recommend when you're in this area of downtown Brooklyn that you just take a walk all the way down to Fulton Street, um, also dubbed like the Fulton Mall area. Just give yourself a little time to walk around here and check out the sites and the different stores and retail shops, especially if you want to do some shopping this would be a great location for you. Um, and you can just check it out because there's a few other sites just coming down the end of it once it kind of spreads out and becomes less busy. But uh, we're gonna just gonna keep walking down Fulton Street and visit all the cool little things that we can do here. All right, so at the base of this hotel, Aloft Hotels here, right off kind of the main drag of Fulton Street here in downtown Brooklyn, you have a hotel called Aloft. And then at the top of it, or kind of in the middle of it, you have a rooftop bar called Kimoto Rooftop Beer Garden. Um, it's a place to come chill. It's obviously closed right now. This is more of a nightlife site, but I'm definitely gonna try to hit up this place. I probably won't be able to get footage up there, but just the sound of a rooftop bar in New York City sounds incredible. And the fact that you'll be in Brooklyn, you'll be able to get amazing views of the Manhattan skyline from up there. So highly recommended. It. it says it's heated, so in the winter it's still possible to go. And it's right next to the Sheraton Hotel. Definitely check out Kimoto Rooftop Beer Garden. All right, so this awesome place is called the DeKalb Market Hall. It is a sort of underground food court where you can get a bunch of different foods from around the world, a bunch of different types of foods. They even have a mini Katz's Deli in here. Katz's Deli from the Lower East Side, which is here, which is super, super cool. I, I, like, I can't believe they have a mini one here. It's like a separate branch, but they have a bunch of cool shops. It's in a building called City Point that has a couple other cool businesses in it. One being a Target, so if you want to visit a Target here, um, but also you can visit the Alamo Movie Theater. This is like a, um, a a draft house, like a beer on tap place, but also like a higher end movie theater. I actually came to see Captain Marvel here just a few weeks ago and it was pretty cool. So this building's got a lot to offer. The DeKalb Market Hall looks super epic. I'm not gonna have any food here because I have another spot that I want to hit up, but it is a cool location to visit nonetheless. So I was told when I come to New York City, specifically here in downtown Brooklyn, that I have to try Junior's Restaurant's Cheesecake. They have a famous New York cheesecake here to try so I'm gonna give it a shot and I'll tell you guys how it is so I have to say that this cheesecake visually doesn't look like anything special but oh my god is that a good cheesecake that is absolutely incredible nice cheese like kind of like not burned but solidified cheese on the top and the bottom graham cracker whatever it is whatever they put there at the bottom like the cake incredible that is absolutely delicious piece of cheesecake super expensive though eight bucks for just one slice of cheesecake alrighty so our next location here is called the Gotham Market at the Ashland and uh, we've actually been to one of these before in Hell's Kitchen and it's just basically a upper scaled food court it's a little fancier 
a little more expensive. But you got some cool food options in there. So if you want to check it out, it's kind of on the outer edges right now of downtown Brooklyn. We are getting away from the hustle and bustle, but if you guys want to check it out, go off the market. There's a few of them. I think it's a chain. So I'm having a bit of a hard time finding this next one, so I'm just going to mention it as this general area of uh, Rockwell Place, Flatbush Avenue, and just a bunch of things. So if you see behind me, there's three letters B-A-M that are kind of rotating on a stick. This is the Brooklyn Academy of Music area. They have an actual Academy of Music, which I think is like a theater place, um, but they also have their own theater, the BAM Theater. I tried to find it, it looked like it was closed under construction right now. So just so you know, when you're in this area, this general vicinity will be the Brooklyn Academy of Music area. So if you guys want to see some live shows, performances and stuff, all that stuff will be on the internet. Just so you know, it's right outside of kind of the center of downtown Brooklyn, located right here. Very cool, arts, support the arts, come check it out. So this giant clock tower right behind me right now is called the Williamsburg Saving Banks Tower. Now there's a bunch of Williamsburg Saving Banks all over Brooklyn, but this used to actually be the tallest building in the whole borough, in the whole borough of Brooklyn. Um, it's been surpassed a few times since, but it's right in front of an Apple store as well. When you stand on the street, you can see an amazing view of the Empire State Building at the bottom. I try to ask some police officers what they call this building today. Some people say they just call it the clock tower. Other people call it one hands in place. So I don't really know exactly what it's supposed to be called nowadays, but that's what it used to be called. It used to be the tallest building in Brooklyn. It's a really cool clock tower, so if you want to come show some homage to old Brooklyn, come take a look at it. It's a cool building, and uh, we'll move on to our next location. The so where I've entered now is called the Atlantic Avenue Terminal. It is partly a subway station, partly a mall, partly a shopping center, um, and it's linked directly to the Barclays Center, which is like a music venue and concert venue, uh, as well a place to go see the Brooklyn Nets, which is the basketball team of Brooklyn, boxing matches, and all kinds of things like that. So this place is super full on. It's also a subway station, so you might actually find yourself here, but uh, make sure that you're obviously checking on the internet to see if there's any matches or anything for you guys to come and see, whether it be basketball, wrestling, whatever or if you want to just come do some shopping before you're taking a subway trip or a train trip, the Long Island Railway also connects to here, so it's a very central hub for everything to see and do. So I have finished seeing everything I need to see down here in downtown Brooklyn. That is the Atlantic Terminal behind me and the Barclay Center, and I'm going to bounce using my Metro card to the next area of Brooklyn that we're going to explore, which is called the Prospect Park area. I'm going to be jumping from Atlantic Terminal to the Grand Army Plaza, so there's gonna be some cool stuff coming up. We're leaving downtown Brooklyn now, Let's go explore some more. Alrighty, so we have gotten to the Grand Army Plaza. This place is awesome. It's got its own arch, a little Arc de Triomphe de, de Brooklyn. Um, I don't actually know the history of anything in here, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, and I, but I do know that there's a lot of stuff to do in this area, including this place, which is the Grand Army Plaza. It's kind of like at the uh, footsteps of Prospect Park, the Brooklyn Museum, the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens, the Prospect Park Zoo. It's really just like your entranceway into all of that. So passing underneath this arch sort of signifies your entrance into Prospect Park. But back here in the Grand Army Plaza, you'll have uh, busts of John F. Kennedy, and some cool statues and fountains and stuff. So definitely check those out as you get towards Prospect Park. So this archway is called the Soldiers and Sailors Archway Memorial. Once again, it looks so freaking similar to the Arc de Triomphe in France, in Paris. I would not be able to tell the difference if it would have just popped me in here. Um, so it's very cool. It's currently under construction. It's being renovated till 2020. So if you're watching this guide in 2020, shout out to the future, baby. This is, uh, this is the archway. You can come take a look at it. And uh, let's enter the Prospect Park area. So my friends, this is the entrance to Prospect Park. Literally the Grand Army Plaza is right back there. And then we have the entrance to Prospect Park, also right behind here. This park is massive. It is one of the largest in New York City, one of the largest in Brooklyn. I think it's the top uh, largest in Brooklyn. I'm not sure exactly where it places, but um, you got just tons of stuff. It's basically Brooklyn Central Park. So you could literally spend days on days walking through here. It's actually massive, but it has more of a man-made feel, less rural and wild like Central Park. So. You have a lot of cool museums and stuff, including the Brooklyn Public Library right next to it, and a few other cool sites that we're going to visit, but this is your kind of number one thing to do here in the area. This is comparable to Central Park, so you don't want to miss it. It's Brooklyn's famous park that everybody loves, Prospect Park. Don't miss out on visiting Prospect Park. From behind me, right next to Prospect Park, is that Brooklyn Public Library that I was talking about. It is another one of New York City's public libraries. Amazing, incredible building. Besides being an architectural feat, you should visit it because Visiting libraries in New York City is awesome, so check out the Brooklyn Public Library. 
So this is one of the entrances to the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens. I've actually visited here a few weeks ago um, during deeper into the winter. Now it's springtime, it might be a little more lively, but I took a nice walk through here. I don't know to tell you about pricing and availability and when it's open and when it's not. Their schedule is a bit confusing and they're doing some construction right now, so everything's all over the place. But just know, in the winter, I think it's free because it was free for me to enter and I just kind of took a walk. I think during the weekdays, it's also very cheap or free. Um, but the Brooklyn Botanical Garden, if you got a significant other, if you got a friend that you just want to walk through, it was an absolutely great, amazing experience to have different terrariums and atriums that you can walk through um, and kind of feel what it's like to jump from a desert climate to a forest climate, to a tropical rainforest, and uh, just taking a walk through there with another person that you like is a good idea. I think it was a great time for me, I had a great time, and uh, it's really central next to a lot of other really cool things. So another fantastic museum here in Brooklyn is the Brooklyn Museum. It is a massive museum, it's kind of Brooklyn's like a flagship museum. They have a bunch of history and art inside of the Brooklyn Museum, so it's definitely worthwhile checking out. Um, I think pricing also here is a tiny bit expensive, but it's well worth it because it's like Brooklyn's flagship museum, like I mentioned. So check out the Brooklyn Museum as well, because all this stuff, all these attractions are in the area. You might take a few days if you want to explore all of this really in depth. Keep in mind that that Prospect Park and the Brooklyn Botanical Gardens is all just a five second walk away from right here and you have a central subway station located right here by the Brooklyn Museum as well. So definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna add my last piece here by saying that the Prospect Park Zoo is also an available thing that you can do within Prospect Park. Personally don't like zoos, that's why I'm not visiting it and I'm not spending too much time in Prospect Park because I already got all the park I need from the day that I spent in Central Park. So check all those things out. You got a bunch of stuff to do, but that's going to be your everything you need to know guide about downtown Brooklyn, Brooklyn Heights, and Prospect Park in this kind of general area. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you got some insight from it. Make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications so you don't miss a single video because we're covering all of New York City and check out the different playlists I have on New York City guys. We've already covered all of Manhattan and we're doing all of Brooklyn now. So don't miss out if you want to know everything you need to know about New York City. If you guys want to support this channel, you can buy some of my merchandise down in the description below or on screen right now and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you a long time. Goodbye, Clats.